Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for October 5th, 2020, Special Confirmation Edition from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 13. And we impart this in words, not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. St. Paul begins this verse by stating that St. Paul is teaching what was not given to him by human understanding or by another human teacher, but these words were given by God through the gift of the Holy Spirit. St. Paul was educated. He was actually extremely well educated. Let's pick this up from Acts chapter 22, verse 3. I am a Jew born in Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in this city, educated at the feet of Gamaliel, according to the strict matter of the law of our fathers, being zealous for God, as all of you are this day. St. Paul's formal education, as you could say, being instructed at the feet of Gamaliel was a special privilege. This was beyond going to just some ordinary college, so to speak, like in today's world. This was a special privilege like a special Ivy League school. So what does St. Paul think of his elite college education, so to speak? He summarizes it in Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ. Notice what St. Paul is doing here. He is saying everything that he was, everything that he attained, is basically worthless compared to that of Christ. Christ is the key. Christ is what gives us faith so that we can be with God and heaven above. All the human instruction that St. Paul received is worthless. Now, this does not mean we don't go to school. We do go to school and learn. But St. Paul and I, as your pastor, would encourage you to continue studying God's Word. That studying God's Word is more important not to replace your formal education, but above and beyond your formal education. So St. Paul continues in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 13, And we impart these words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. So notice what's going on, interpreting spiritual truths. There's a difference between worldly wisdom and God's word that comes from God. Jesus even reminds us of this in John chapter 3, verse 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the Spirit is Spirit. This is why we teach God's Word here in our junior high confirmation class. This isn't about Pastor Bala's sermons or Pastor Bala's wisdom. This is about God's Spirit and God's wisdom. Now you may be saying, but we use Martin Luther's small catechism. Fair enough. It is a great book that has taken God's Word and put it into certain categories. Now, I will admit Martin Luther expands upon God's Word, but as we study God's Word very carefully and diligently, we realize that what Martin Luther put in his catechism, certainly it is God's Word. So we teach God's Word because it is God's truth because this word comes from God, and because it comes from God and is not a human word, word, we know that the world around us isn't going to like us. Why? Because the world around us wants a human word, a word that they can understand, that they create, that they approve of. 
But notice what Jesus says in the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 18. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. I will admit, these are some hard words from Jesus. We want to be loved, we want to be popular, we want to be known in our communities and loved by the world around us. But Jesus very clearly reminds us that as we attach ourselves to God's word, the world around us, that sinful world around us, is not going to like us. The sinful world does not want to hear what God's word has to say. Even our own sinful nature doesn't want to hear what God's word has to say. So we have to put down our old sinful nature and keep on studying and trusting God's words. God's word is not some human idea, or it would be popular. So if you're a Christian, you know that you will love God's word. The psalmist tells us this in the very first psalm. Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. The psalmist again reminds us of this great division, what the world teaches and what God's word teaches. So we return back to our theme verse for the week from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 13. And we impart this in words, not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. Join me again tomorrow as we hear about Yehu and the prophets of Baal. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching and please take an opportunity to share this devotion with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.